Like, why are we shy, guys? Oh my goodness. Like, the last time we were up here on this floor was when we left. Yeah. yeah, we've not been back since. It was June of 2022. It was crazy. We, I didn't even have a bag packed for the hospital. I mean, it was just, I was going in for my regular doctor's appointment, and then a few hours later, they said we were going to deliver her. I mean, it was a shock. I was, what, 30 weeks? Um, her lungs weren't fully developed. Um, she couldn't breathe on her own yet. Teresa was a patient for the first five days. I think you were here for five days, right? Yeah, I think so. That one. Um, and so um, after that, we were here, well, we were here every day. We both went back to work. Um, he, he could kind of do work from here. I could come during the day and then I'd have to go teach in the evenings. Most of the time we were trading off shifts and then like on the weekends and stuff we'd come together. I went to Ball State, um, I got my degree in dance. Um, I started teaching part-time when I was in college. Please welcome to stage entry 541, Angels on Earth. A lot of our inspiration for our dance pieces comes from personal experiences, and obviously this one was a big one for us. Nurses are angels who comfort and care, someone to lean on to answer our prayers. Gently encouraging, skillful and kind, compassionate healers of body and mind. I just wanted to do some kind of dance piece um, that showed, showed appreciation for everything that the doctors and the nurses do, but also kind of emulated the feelings, the emotions that we had when we were here. I'm the artistic director at Cole Academy, and we just started our competition dance season. Um, and there, was, there were two groups of um, younger dancers that I thought would be perfect, um, you know, to kind of portray the story that we were telling in the dance. Um, and so there's uh, four of them are the young children. They represent like the, the small children, babies. And then um, the rest of them are the nurses, the doctors. They went to their first competition then in February, I think it was. At this particular competition, they do um, a choreography award. So they pick one routine out of all the routines that they saw. Um, for whatever reason, it touched them, it stood out to them. Um, and so they, they picked this number to get that award. Um, and it was really cool too because a lot of times you'll get a certificate or a plaque or something and um, you know the, that's really neat but this uh, particular competition the judges wrote me a note too they wrote a note on the back of the award just talking about how much the dance moved them and I was gonna make me cry <laughs> and um, just how well the kids were able to um, you know, emote and make them feel something. We were all at that competition and Winnie was with me and so I got to see it for the first time on stage and it was beautiful. Like I saw it. I saw what she was trying to portray. It all made sense and it was really, it was beautiful. <laughs> I'm very grateful to all of them, and I will always be grateful until the day I die. Um, it was, <clears throat> I, there wasn't anything I could do that day, right? When Winnie was born. For Teresa, for Winnie, nothing. I, literally nothing I could do. And that's not me, I'm a fixer. I wanna fix it and I wanna fix it now. And I couldn't, um, but the guys, you know, the doctors and the nurses and uh, Miss Vicky, the custodian that was here, they all made me feel better with what was going on. And I was able to just kind of let them do their thing and fix something that I couldn't fix. Mm -hmm. it's, it has been really healing and just kind of therapeutic almost. 
It just makes me so happy to be able to create something like this and have like an outlet, you know, to be creative and to kind of show the, the, com the feelings of comfort and hope that we felt here.